Uh, I'm just turning to the American PR man for a bit of confirmation, but he's listening to another channel. Uh, but I believe Toshio Suzuki is now in the number 23 uh, Japanese run, Calsonic Nissan. And uh, I was just going to mention that Tom Walkinshaw, leaning on the pit wall as he still is, looking pretty bored. I'm sure he's not, but uh, doing every outward impression and not really having much to worry about in his life at the moment, as perhaps he does. That's called Tom's impassive look. He, he doesn't want to give anything away. He doesn't want to look worried. He doesn't want to look excited. He's just sort of taking it calmly. And, and uh, we've now had a, an incident at the Dunlop curve. Two cars have had a coming together at the, the Dunlop curve. One of them is the Takaku Toyota. And the other one is the Nissan. So the Nissan, the leading Nissan, number 24, Gianfranco Brancatelli. And the other one, as I say, is the uh, Takaku Toyota, which was being driven while well, we didn't actually have confirmation of who it was in it. But that looks to me as though the leading car has, uh, is out of the race. And uh, number 24, no, it's not out of the race, it is carrying on. So there was contact there between the driver being helped out of the Taka Q car. It is Suzuki who was in that, Aguri Suzuki who was in the... Yes, Aguri Suzuki who was in the Taka Q Toyota. Uh, he's out of the car. The car is uh, very seriously damaged, but uh, although he, he is uh, being helped over the Armco barrier. But the other car, the Nissan, now Martin, if you could make your way down to the Nissan pit, because that car will be having to come into the pits now with the quite badly damaged front bodywork, but it's still on its four wheels. I thought for a moment that we had two cars there together, but uh, the pace car will be coming out now and uh, picking, up the, uh, picking up the leader, hopefully, but it's the leader, of course, that is the car that's been damaged. Now there's some drivers not really slow. We've got a marshal standing with a yellow flag in the middle of the circuit, and uh, some of the cars not really slowing down at all as they're going up towards the scene of the accident with marshals all over the track. It really does seem as though we ought to, and uh, some drivers not slowing down at all, but then perhaps because the yellow flags are being waved furiously enough. Still, for some reason, there's no pace car. It's absolutely extraordinary, this, because one would have thought that with the marshals all over the circuit, the drivers not slowing down, overtaking under yellow flags, marshals all over the circuit. It really is a most extraordinary situation, this, that nobody has... Uh, they haven't brought the pace car out. And the Nissan, yes, is now limping round. We can see it on the monitor. The left-hand front tyre is damaged. It's been presumably rubbing on bits of broken bodywork. So, number 24, coming round, Gianfranco Brancatelli at the wheel. So there's damage to the front bodywork, there's damage to the tyre. Now, if he doesn't go too quickly, the tyre is flat, the left-hand front tyre is flat. It looks as though it's only, it's, there's chunks of rubber flying off. 